Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, it seems I'm getting a little sick. I apologize. Also, um, here we are at, uh, Elder McNamara's little place here. After we finally confirmed that we do have the parts, we talked to the guy who we were supposed to talk to after getting the last part, and now we're going to tell him that we finally did it. So... Back again, I see. Have you found all the components we need? Uh, yeah. Lorenzo's on it. <sighs> Good news for a change. That's me hitting Your efforts <laughs> have humbled me, outsider. You have done more than I could expect, even from my brothers. Really? Moreover, I've been going over the scouts' reports and keep coming up with the same conclusion. The NCR is not the threat I've believed it to be. That is true. And we should it's not no have longer had to rely on your help in this crisis. I believed my actions were guided by caution and prudence, but I now see the truth. People called me a hero after what happened at Helios, but I left that battle scarred by fear and have allowed that weakness to govern my actions. That ends now. I will undo the wrong I have done my brethren and lift the lockdown. With luck, we will once again flourish. Hey! Please, take How about this. that? It is a small token of my thanks, and scarcely begins to repay the debt owed you, but is all I am allowed to give an outsider. This key but will hey, allow I'll you to it. use our safe house to the northeast. Oh! I hope it will prove useful in your travels. A safe house, you say? Hey, we're liked by the Brotherhood of Steel now. Enough news of your good works has been passed around that people like you. Awesome! Oh, that's a lot of experience. Holy hell. Also... Is there anything else we can do with you? Welcome, Outsider. Welcome. The lockdown has been officially lifted, and everyone seems to be in good spirits. Awesome. With the surface good open to, hear. to us once again, Harden's already started talk of sending a force out to attack Helios. Oh. But I hope to dissuade him. Oh, that's... What can I do for you? That's not necessary for you guys to do. That's really not needing to be done. What is with that crazy sandstorm on the surface? That is this base's defensive system. Oh. It serves as camouflage and masks all entry and exit from the bunker. I see. We use it to hide our patrols and supply runners. Though we still send such out at night to be extra safe. That explains it. Alright, tell me about the lockdown. It's a protective measure that was enacted after our defeat at Helios. Mm -hmm. The NCR was hot on our heels and we wouldn't have survived another encounter. That's fair. It was okay. decided that we would stay quiet for a time, heal the wounded, and try to come up with a new strategy. However, after we had fully recuperated, our first scouting measures showed that the NCR's presence in this region had only increased in our absence. True. Yeah. There are now more than five times the number of NCR troops in the area as when we fought them. And we have half the number we did at Helios. And so yeah. the lockdown has been extended. To go outside would be the death of us all. Well, I mean, I think he's saying that in uh, past tense now because uh, we already lifted the lockdown, so... I'm not entirely sure why the dialogue didn't change a little bit. That's probably because <laughs> I didn't ask him about it beforehand. And this is what, uh, this is the canned dialogue that's before me lift, helping lift the lockdown, I guess. Probably. Anyway, how did you get supplies? We have some personnel that are allowed to travel on the surface. Veronica. They trade for what we need and occasionally drop off what they acquire. We make sure that they only enter or leave the bunker while the sandstorm is active, to avoid detection. Yeah, which is a good way to do it. Time for me to go. Later. That is really weird that he says it like that. That is really goofy. Alright. Oh, yeah. This is part of the I could make you care thing. Excess Father Elijah's notes at the comm terminal with Veronica. Okay. Okay, this is another thing with Veronica. That'll let me, uh... Well, let me let the Brotherhood open up more a little bit. I think. I think that's how it works. I'm not entirely sure. But, uh, I guess we gotta go to the comm terminal that Father Elijah used to have. And I have no idea if I'm going the right way. Holy shit, I am. <laughs> how about that? I'm doing good for once. You, you're Ramos, okay. I was trying to look for Harden. The guy who's trying to pull some shit. Alrighty. 
Here we are. Out we go. That was a noise. <laughs> Sounded like there was like a rat or something nearby. That was a noise. At least I hope that wasn't in my room. <laughs> uh, that was a that would be a little concerning. Wow, there's a lot of enemies outside. Look at that. Alright. I should probably stay in that tab. Alright. Oh, it's near the Gibson Scrapyard. And near Helios 1. Huh. Well, let's go back to the Gibson Scrapyard. Why not, eh? Kind of necessary. Grab my soda over here. Put it on my desk. There we go. All right. Some squeakiness of the chair. Also, what the hell is over here? I hope it's nothing evil. And by evil, I say Kaisahar. Uh, here's hoping, right? Um, son of a bitch. <laughs> son of a bitch, of course it is. Oh, fuck. Oh, great, now they're scattering like a bunch of cockroaches. Cockroaches, you fuckers. Shoot you in the face. Okay. No, well, one of them's running towards Helios 1. That's not going to end well. That's not going to go good. Whoa, okay. Speaking of not going good, mole rat, buddy. You, uh, you're fighting a losing battle there. What the fuck is with these assassins running around like crazy people. Oh. Oh. That was their tactic. I see. Alright, well. Um. Since I'm not gonna kill him outright. Go for a lot of center of mass shots. Ooh. That had to hurt. I'm getting shot at from the other side. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. That, well, that explains a lot. What, uh, okay, Veronica's... Okay, I thought she was uh, a little more damaged than she was. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Okay, you're down. And... Fuck. Missed. Did I get your leg? You're just standing there now. <laughs> Did I hit his weapon? I must have hit his weapon enough that he was like, well, I don't have a gun now. Nope. His weapon wasn't too damaged. Don't know what he was doing. Just standing there like an idiot. That's what he was doing. Fresh carrot. I'll take that. Sure. Why not? Is that a carrot in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? Oh, it's a carrot. Okay. Well, I'll just fuck right off then. Okay. Um... I think, at this point, I need to repair this. But I don't want to repair it with that. <laughs> uh, let's use a service rifle to repair this. There we go. Because this is more valuable in the long run. Okay, how's my ammo? I'm doing pretty good on ammo. On ammo. On bullets. Uh, okay. Ooh, got some good stuff on you. You got a brush gun. I'll take that. Why am I taking the explosives? I don't use explosives. What am I doing? They are valuable, though. <laughs> they are very valuable. Shit. I didn't even know that. Now I know that. They are valuable as shit. Okay. I uh, know I gave you a couple sledgehammers. Let's get those out of you. That's the wrong thing. Okay. Where's those sledgehammers, huh? Sledgehammers. There we go. Beautiful. Let's fix up that super sledge. Super sledge. Alright. Oh, with the bumper sword is the same class. I forgot about that. Alright. Fucking make sure I hit the right thing. God damn it. Um, cowboy repeater. I could fix up brush gun I currently have. 
have with one of these. That's an idea. That is an idea that I'm going to follow through on. Um, brush gun. Or I could do the cowboy repeater here. That works too. Um, hmm. Hunting rifle is actually pretty valuable. Let me see what else I can take from you to repair my other shit. Because at this point, I'm already halfway through. Might as well continue. Uh, there, take that. Uh, give some of my stuff back to you, like this. And a bumper sword. And the super sledge. I can't give that to you. Shit. I can give that to you. How about that? And I'm still overburdened. Suck! Okay, well, that's going to be a problem. Yes, I know Eddie can't carry anymore. Thank you, game, for letting me know things I already know. Okay. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, he is. I'm sorry. Not really, though. Okay, let's give you that. These aren't really that heavy. I'm kind of surprised that I've collected all these grenades and explosives, and they're like nothing. Kind of nice. Um, fuck. I have so many things. Whoa. I didn't assume she would equip the super sledge, but there she is wearing the super sledge. Hi. <laughs> okay. I'll go for that. Sure. Why not? I thought that the... Uh, honestly, when... He started running over there. I assumed he was going to attack Helios 1. And I was like, oh no. Let's not do that. But, uh, no. He did not do that. It was nice. For me. Mainly me. Okay. Um. I don't have enough to repair that. Can repair this, though. That's fine. That is just fine. Alright. Let's check what you have. Because I kind of blew you away. Oh, you have some good stuff. Anti venom Marksman's Carbane. Uh, I'll take that and that. And that's about all that's worthwhile on you. Honestly. Uh, I don't know why I went through this to get ammo. Um... What I meant to do was have him make some, but I wanted to double check that I was reading it right, I guess. Oh. Remove the safety catches on those microfusion cells and you could turn them into satchel charges. Get how much those can sell for. Oh, they sell for a significant amount. Oh, that's the best idea I ever had. <laughs> that is the bestest idea I ever did have. That's amazing. I'm going to make some ammo now. <laughs> Since I'm already here doing the thing, might as well make more of the thing. All right. And Amro, super hand load, even though I don't need that much of it. Okay, and semi-wad cutters, cause of course. Uh, let's make... No, I don't need the jacketed hollow point. Why would I need the jacketed hollow point? I'm doing good without them. Doing great without them, in fact. Alright. Break down more. Of these 22 long rifles. Because I especially don't need those. They are not worth it. At least not in this game. Not really worth it in real life either. There's a reason why they're pennies on the dollar. Alright. That's a... Uh, that. Uh, yeah, I forgot I had 
some shotgun rounds. Okay, let's break down the rest of them. There we go. I'm just blowing through them now. Um, yeah, I'm done for now. I'm done for now. I've been doing a lot of inventory management this episode. Oh, wait. You can do... Shit. Not, not you. Not you. Sorry. I meant to talk to Veronica, because she can do things. What's up? Uh, could you help me craft something? Step into my office. <laughs> Your office. Okay, that's that's kind of cute. That's adorable, even. All right. Um, I don't have enough for fucking weapon. Oh, I need more fucking duct tape. It's always the fucking duct tape. You always need more duct tape. All right, I'm gonna have to cut that out. <laughs> Uh, every time, every time, he has to put out a looking for group thing on something that I don't have, <sighs> and yet Xbox notifies me of it anyway. All right. Uh, balls. Okay, I can only make super stim packs, and I don't necessarily want to. Wait, actually I could. I have enough mute fruits that I still would have enough left over for uh, Cass's moonshine. So fuck it. Let's do it. Hey! See you around. Yes. See you around because you're following me. It's kind of how it goes. Uh, I already got your shit. Okay, good, 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 good. I should keep heading this way. Oh, hi there. Did you hey deal there. with the thing? Need anything? Did you deal with the thing over there? I assume sure. you did. Here's what I've got. Well, thank you. What do you have? Holy shit, you have a lot of caps. All right. <laughs> I'll take it. All right. Um, I should collect some of those. Just as backup. Um, let's go to weapons. Yeah, I'm not going to keep any of these. I don't know why I've been holding on to them for so long. Absolutely sell these. Um, what? Oh, I gave it to Eddie. God damn it. <laughs> okay, well, I'll sell these. Um, keep that. Um, is there anything else? Is it mantis eggs. Actually, don't weigh that much. They do sell for a bit, so sell those. Um, Weight-wise, looking for anything that's over, like, five pounds. At least if it's in the junk department. Fire gecko eggs. I could sell those, for sure. Um, coffee mugs. No, I'm, I'm keeping those for a certain psychotic little robot that we all know and love. Okay. Um, Amro wise, I don't need these. I do not need those at all. Um, is there anything else? No. Not anything up there, anyway. I'll keep a couple of these. Um, Flamer fuel. I don't think I need that for anything, do I? There's probably something I'm not thinking about, so I'll keep it for now. Sell those. Jesus, I have so many caps. I have so many caps. Like, this girl is going to lose all of her caps at this rate. She'll have, like, maybe 130. 130. 1,300. Fucking brain will just eliminate zeros for no real reason sometimes. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Alright. Fuck it. Just, there we go. Yep, 1,300. There we go. That's a proper fucking number. Even though it's said in the fucking American English that most people don't understand unless you fucking reconvert it into thousands. Because... Metrics. Anyway. What am I bitching about now? I don't know. I've lost myself once again. Where the fuck am I going? I'm going this way. God damn it. Fuck. How's my inventory space looking? 346. It's not bad. It's also not great. 
Uh, because I have everyone else overburdened with the rest of my shit. Gah. Well, I say everyone. I mean Eddie. <laughs> I mean Eddie because he's the one that won't use up the weapons and ammo that I give him. All right. Oh. Is that the, uh... Is that the Brotherhood safe house? Oh, that's a noise. That's a distressing noise. Not while I'm coming right by, guy. Gibson's shack. Um. That's... That's some music. Oh. Oh, um. That, uh... Can't be good. <laughs> she just has vodka. Oh boy. <laughs> I did not mean to make the skeleton dance. That's a. Uh, it's not my thing. It's Ray's thing, if anything. With uh, super, super scary skeletons. <laughs> Soupy doopy doopy. That's what I, my brain was trying to do. Mentats! Wow, there's a lot of fucking booze and drugs around here. Seems like Kate's kind of seen. <laughs> Kate, however, being on the entire opposite end of the fucking nation. So, this would not be a place we could find her. Yet. I, I say that, even after we've cured her by this point. Um, where in the hell is there more shit? Medics. There we are. And that's... Lawnmower blade. God, that looks fucking... It looks like small and pathetic. <laughs> it's great. Alright, um... Oh, yeah, that's right, we have a campfire here. Um, mass purified water, might as well. Another mass purified, because we had just enough, just not enough the last pitchers to finish it off. Uh, gecko steak? No. What I want is gecko fucking kebabs. I need jalapeno peppers. And two more banana yucca fruit. Okay. I could do that. And five. And two more of these. Good. And where is it? Ta-da! Perfect. Alright. There's other things too. Party time mentats. Uh, I guess I can make those. I just need more honey and mesquite. And it was... I need three more. Okay. For what I want. Everything to add out to. There we go. Good. And then... Part-time mentats. There we go. Because they are slightly better than regular mentats. Calm terminal station. Or rather... Scratch that. Reverse the terminal on the station. Download research notes. All right. Download Let's see what complete. we've got here. Okay, yeah. This is the one I was thinking of. The pulse gun. Uh-huh. Although, maybe the rangefinder could work, too. And it looks like the NCR was onto some miracle farming technology. Oh. Farming technology. Hmm, more or less. Supposedly, it's a vegetation enhancer. NCR has a science branch headquartered at McCarran Airport. Guess they found something. Oh, Guess somebody that. wasn't very good at keeping secrets either. That's We'd true. never pursue it because it's not a weapon, mm -hmm. but self sufficiency is fundamental to us. If it works, they'd see the value of an alternate course. That's true. And that was the one that involved Vault 22, wasn't it? Yeah, that, um, that wouldn't work. <laughs> we know that that wouldn't work. We saw it face first. Um, what's a pulse gun? Electromagnetic weapon from before the Great War. Experimental. Mm -hmm. It never saw mass production. I see. But they were building it as a countermeasure to power armor, which they feared the Chinese were developing. Ah. Supposedly a prototype was being housed at Nellis. Imagine what it could do to the Brotherhood. We'd be on equal footing with any idiot with a gun. That's true. But at the same time, that's a little too much power for you guys to be having. 
Uh, tell me about the rangefinder. It's a targeting device for some kind of doomsday weapon based at Helios 1. Oh. It was lost sometime after the war. We held Helios 1 for a time. Lost a lot of people defending it. Too many. All for this weapon they never got working. I see. If it turns out to be a dud, it would show how flawed our goals have been. Father Elijah said he thinks a scavenger might have sold it on the strip. Oh. I see. Well, this is a thing. The vegetation technology would put them on a completely alternate course of weapon collecting and warfare that they've been on for the entire time. The pulse gun is, like, unnecessary, I think. I mean, they already have plenty of weaponry at their disposal. That's it's not... Personally, I don't think it's necessary. Um, the rangefinder sounds promising. Eh, not really. Not really. Because I know how that one goes. Or at least I have an inkling on how it goes. I've never actually seen it actually go down. Um, let's go after the vegetation tech. Okay. What better way to persuade them than to give them a taste of what they stand to gain, right? Exactly. Maybe the best place to start is to see what we can find out directly from the NCR. Let's head to their OSI office at McCarran. Well, let's go find it. I like the way you think. Thank you. Download complete. Oh, Begin what? recording. Navarro Outpost Scientist, I am glad that EDE has reached you. You will find several data banks of information on this machine. What? Please handle this information with the utmost care, as it represents the sum total of the results of my research on the Duraframe iBots. There are also several data banks with information on my research into Poseidon Energy, and some projects they were working on in the Mojave area. Um... What? About Poseidon Energy? Download complete. Begin recording. Navarro Outpost Scientist. I am glad that EDE has reached you. You will find several data banks of information on this machine. Please handle this information with the utmost care as it represents the sum total of the results of my research on the Duraframe iBots. There are also several data banks with information on my research into Poseidon Energy and some projects they were working on in the Mojave area. Huh. That's new. That, I, um... That's one I didn't expect to pop there. Um... Hmm. Huh. So apparently... Eddie knows a little something about... Poseidon Energy, which, if I recall correctly, had a hand in Helios 1. Hmm. That's interesting. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to end the episode here for right now because we're way the fuck over time. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more, and click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games and helping the Brotherhood end the lockdown. And playing along with whatever Father Elijah had found out. Because apparently there's some things that we want to check out for you.